So this is granular shock, and I use this all the time when pools go green. It's a really high, unstabilized level of chlorine, which will kill the algae and help bring the pool back to a nice blue color. You can get it in liquid form, but I mostly use granular shock. This chemical that I'm using is Flock. This helps to combine all the floating particles in the pool, leaving the water crystal clear, and usually works within 24 hours, so I can come back the next day and back the pool to waste. Next up are these pucks, which are stabilized chlorine tablet, and they're slow dissolving. They'll either go in the skimmer or they'll go into a chlorine feeder. And it's only an issue if it's going in your skimmer if the pump is left off for a long period of time, so stop whinging. Then we've got some sparkle tabs, and these are used when your pool water has gone a little bit cloudy. They go in the skimmer as well, and they dissolve very quickly. They work by putting a thin layer over the sand, catching smaller particles that flow through the system. Then we've got pH plus, which looks just like shock or chlorine granule. This is used to raise the pH level in the pool if it's too low. And if your pH is too high, then you just need to use pH minus, which is dry acid. Next up, these are jelly cubes. A lot of people like these and want to eat them. I wouldn't advise it. They do a similar job to the sparkle tablets, which is to give you nice crystal clear water. They just go into the pump basket instead because they work better with a faster flow of water. Lastly, for this video, we've got salt. And as it runs through the pool system, it goes for a salt cell, which uses the process electrolysis, which then basically turns the salt into chlorine. It's not salty like the sea, it's compared to a teardrop. So if you cry a lot, like the people that worry about tablets and skimmers, then you'll know all about it. Anyway, those are some of the chemicals that I use. Holly, your boy.